Hello everyone, my name is Dee Nightshade and welcome to my video. As you all know, the Lord of the Mountain is a fun little Easter egg horse that you can ride around Hyrule but can't really do anything much with. You can't register him at the stables, there's no side quest involving this horse, you can't use him in mini games, and can't customize or put saddles or bridles on him. And before you ask, no, you can't get rubies out of him by shooting him with your bow and arrows. That was the first thing I tried when I first found this guy. This horse has infinite stamina that never runs out, no matter how much you mash the A button. He has very low health, so if you get hit by an enemy, you will get knocked off and the horse will disappear on you. As far as speed goes, I'd say he's like, hmm, three star speed at least. Now supposedly when you catch this horse, people say you automatically have max bond, so he listens to you without issue. No changing direction, no stopping on his own, pretty much total obedience. Well, that's not completely true. Even though this horse doesn't get unruly, he is still wild. He still has his own set of issues. From my experience riding this horse, I discovered he gets disobedient in his own way. There have been many times when he would not listen to me when I'm controlling him. Like, for example, I will want him to stop suddenly and he will not stop. I'm practically yanking on the reins and this horse does not stop. When he finally does, he won't come to a screeching stop. He will slowly, gradually stop, which can be a big issue when you're trying to maneuver through narrow spaces or trying to navigate through, say, the Lost Woods. I literally have to be on this horse's ass to stop on command. Otherwise, I end up getting caught up in the fog and sent to start. This horse will sometimes also not turn when you prompt it and will miss your turn when you're trying to get somewhere. Granted, it is worth mentioning that all horses do have a harder time taking turns while accelerating, but this horse was not accelerating when it didn't make these turns. It's probably a good thing this horse can't be used in the minigames, because it would be shit at the horse pole vaulting minigame. I actually have learned that some horses in this game are better at some minigames than others, but I can tell you more about that in another video. I did, however, find one good use for this horse, and that is for getting to the Kito Wa Wa I Wa We. Hold on. The Kito Wa Wai Shrine. Damn, that's hard to pronounce. Thank God for word playback in Google Translator. If I'm still butchering it, I apologize. At least I'm putting in an effort to try to say it right. Right? Anyway, as I was saying, to get to the shrine, you need to navigate through the dark forest of the... Hold on. Thyflo Ruins. Where do these Nintendo developers come up with these names? Anyway, the forest is super dark and you can't even see your own hand in front of your face. You have to carry a torch and light these bird statues and go in the direction they point to get to the shrine. If you don't carry a torch with you at all times, this horse makes for a really handy nightlight. Just ride him through the forest and you can get there in no problem. No torch is needed. Though make sure to go slow and if you do need to keep track of where you were, use a flame weapon to light the bird statues from your horse. Do not dismount to light them, or you might risk hitting the horse and you'll lose him. I learned that the hard way. Also, be very mindful of how close you are to the bird torches. If you stand too close for too long, the Lord of the Mountain will catch on fire and will get scared off. This here is another example of this horse not following commands. I'm trying to move this damn horse away from the torches, but he doesn't want to move. He's like, no, I want to catch on fire and fuck up your run. Screw you, hero! Overall, the Lord of the Mountain is a stamina horse that glows in the dark and is great for navigating in the dark. He does have his own set of faults and does get unruly at times, just in a more subtle way. He doesn't always stop when you tell him to, and he won't always turn when prompted either. Not really the best horse in the game. Personally, I'd rather stick with my registered horses. That's all there is to the Lord of the Mountain. I hope this video gave you more insight on this horse. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
If you're not subscribed, subscribe. See you all later. Ciao, Bella, everyone.